Hi guys, it's Patricia and welcome to Tester Tuesday. If you're new to my channel, basically Tester Tuesday is a way for me to review two Sensi scents with you guys every week. And guess what? At the end of this video, we will be voting for new scents from the spring and summer catalog. So I have the testers in here. The big box is, is put away for a few weeks. It'll probably take about five weeks to do. We will do three scents each week. There will be one leftover scent. There are two scents that I've already reviewed on Tester Tuesday, which are Watermelon Tangerine and My Hero. I welcome you to go check those out. Let's get into the votes from last week. Last week, we had 198 votes that came in on time. And funny, we had a tie for first place. So those are the two scents we're going to review this week. Both of these scents had 29% of the vote. So the first one is this lovely white colored wax, but the front is blue and it is white out. And in second place, we have this beige ivory colored wax and it's the beautiful scent of white sand. And that one we will discuss second. So let's talk about white out as our first scent this week. We're gonna talk about white out because I wanna finish on a positive note. Now in saying that, white out on cold sniff is about a medium intensity. It was last available in a Bring Back My Bar campaign of January, 2020. I would put this in a fresh category, a winter fresh category. And I think it retired in, in the 2016 timeframe. So the scent description for white out, it says exhilarating blast of cool peppermint and sweet golden apple over frosty winter pine. So I get maybe 50% of a mint it's kind of like a candy cane peppermint to me. It's a little bit softer than a, a, a biting peppermint. I get maybe 25% of that beautiful, soft, golden delicious apple that's very sweet. If you've ever eaten a golden delicious apple, they're really nice paired with Granny Smith for a pie. Just a tip for you. I get maybe 20% of a pine note. It's kind of a soft, gentle background. You get it, but there's other things that kind of jump at you first. And I get maybe 5% of a menthol note. You get a little bit of a nose clearing effect from this one. And I think it's more than just the peppermint. I think there's a menthol. So uh, scent appeal for me on this is probably like eight or nine out of 10. I really, really like this. Previous experience for me for it white out was I have warmed it before and it didn't do the greatest for me. It kind of starts off strong and then fizz fizzled out. And when I say strong, I would say maybe more medium. So I kind of forgot that. I remember I gave Ramona a bar because she really, really liked it when she was down. And what I did was I took my testers for this Tester Tuesday and I took some of my cubes and I warmed it in different areas of my home. So I took the equivalent of four cubes and put it in my open layout. Didn't do the very well there. I kind of forgot that it was a dud for me. I, I had it about four out of 10. It, I could smell it after about 20 minutes and then I just it kind of just felt like it didn't last very long and went away. I did leave it in all day just in case. Um, I can't, came back later. No, I couldn't really smell it. It was very gentle. And I took my testers and I put it in my bonus room, which is a big TV room. And it was a little bit stronger there, maybe four and a half to five. And I left it going a full day there as well, probably about 12 hours. And I tried it the following day and it just couldn't get anything out of it. So I took two more cubes as my final test and I put it in my kid's bathroom. So they have two sinks and next to each sink is a 15 watt mini warmer. So there's two 15 watt mini warmers and it's a small, small area. It's probably overkill to do that in the bathroom, but uh, maybe strength and throw was five to five and a half there. It was a little bit better. It kind of built, it might've even got as high as six, but it's on day two today. I'm just gonna let it fizzle out. I think with my remaining two cubes, I will warm them in my son's room, which is the smallest bedroom of the house. Usually I use one cube at a time in his room, but I will double up, I will try to, in his 25 watt ceramic Spider-Man warmer and see how it does. But I think if you're someone that likes like minty scents, like Candy Cane Wishes, you would like this. If you like ice pine, but you, you think it's way, way, way too strong and you wish you could revamp it to a mild version, then this might be right up your alley. Ideally for me, a scent like this would be great in an open concept, but it's too, too, too light. So it's almost too light for a bedroom. So it's a great bathroom scent for me. And I think if I was to repurchase this, which I, I wouldn't be able to, because the way I would want to repurchase weight out is in the room spray. I think it would be great in the room spray because it would be just enough for that little area, just enough for a few minutes. 
I would not want to repurchase some wax and it's, it's sad because I really like the scent. Great on scent appeal, just not very strong and that is white out. All right, let's talk about our second scent of the week and it is White Sands. And sorry about my appearance, I was actually cleaning today and I just said I gotta take a break and film my video. <laughs> so here's White Sands. This is a full bar and here's the bar that I used. It was full, it's the older Bring Back My Bar packaging and here's my tiny little single tester. So I knew I had bars of this. So I kind of let you know that Whiteout didn't do the greatest for me and I wanted to finish on a positive note. So you're gonna hear a lot of good things <laughs> about White Sands. So on Cold Sniff, this is about a medium to a medium light intensity. It was last available in the June 2020 Bring Back My Bar. And that is this packaging. And this is the older Bring Back My Bar packaging. Scent description for White Sands. It says night blooming jasmine, softened by coconut milk and rice, enveloped in the gentlest breeze. So you get the jasmine early. Like that's when it comes out. I would say 30 to 40% in the first few hours. And then it kind of dissipates. But the main bulk of the fragrance is that coconut milk and I guess what would be rice. It's like a creamy, dreamy combination. I love it. Oh, I would say that's about two thirds and it's heaven. <laughs> I have a little saying about this scent. It says, well, it goes. Rice makes everything nice because I don't know what, what the magical ingredient is in here. And I don't even think of rice being a scent note, but this is a really nice scent. So let me just read to you what I have written down about this scent. It's creamy and dreamy. It's sophisticated and elegant. It's calming and soothing. And it's a scent that kind of says, you've got your act together. And I one time kind of made a joke that it reminds me of a scent that Mr. Kong's mom would warm in her fancy lady living room because it just kind of feels like that. If you've ever watched any of her videos, she has this really living room it's beautifully decorated and it's very I don't know it just looks like it's from a magazine and this is a scent that would be going in that room I love it my previous experience with white sands is one that kind of took me by surprise because when I first tried it before I first tried it I, I didn't really expect anything of it I was just like yeah whatever and I put it in and man oh man it captured me right away and those are the scents that make you smile and they you know make you excited to get going with new scents again so let me just tell you what I did. I took my tester and my wax. I put it in two different spots. So like I said, I've warmed this before. So it's a really great bedroom scent. So I put it in my son's room downstairs. He has two glass 25 watt uh, warmers now. <laughs> Strength and throw was about eight out of 10. And I don't remember it being that strong before. About 12 hours later, it was seven out of 10. And then it just kind of slowly, slowly, slowly fades. I left it going four days, 67 hours. Four days 67 hours when I took it out it was about two to three out of ten <laughs> so the only problem I had was one of the warmer dishes had a lot of like sappy residue on the bottom so it was from this bar so this bar is uh, probably about two years old at least so just as a heads up in my daughter's room strength and throw again eight out of ten she has a ceramic 25 watt beacon warmer and that one I, it's probably around the 50 hour mark now but it's on day four it, it's doing very very well so I think if you're someone that likes those creamy, dreamy, soothing scents, something like Pacific Sandalwood, um, maybe Love and Happiness, uh, Rio Beach, a little bit more fruity and like tropical, but you know, along those creamy, dreamy vibes, you might really like White Sands. A winter version, um, not the same, but might give you the same overall cozy feel would be Cozy Cardigan. Cozy Cardigan is more body care. This is more like a neutral, this would be a great blender. Um, this is a beautiful bedroom scent. This is where I strictly warm it. But based on how well it did in my bedrooms, I might even venture on trying this in my open layout. In an open layout, it would not be eight out of 10. It would probably be six to six and a half out of 10 perhaps, but it might be a nice gentle background scent. And it'd be great in TV rooms, anywhere you want a very soothing, calming, relaxing feel. Um, and I just wanna make a note, I think I mentioned it already, but these bars here are probably two to three years old and they feel like they are stronger for sure than when I warmed them two to three years ago. So, and I'm more of an addict now and usually the more of an addict you become, things seem weaker and weaker as you go. But yes, very happy with White Sands. Would I repurchase it? Yes, I would. It's in my Scentsy Club. This is SCW, which is Scentsy Club worthy. And that is White Sands. Highly, 
highly recommend. And one last thing to highlight, this was the only scent when I've asked for my family rating that it got a perfect score, eight out of eight. So something to know, that is White Sands. Okay, so now we are gonna draw for our scents for the week. We have uh, 16 cents in here. I'm gonna draw six cents. You guys are gonna vote for two different scents by early Wednesday morning. And if you cannot comment on YouTube videos, please find my Instagram post and put your vote there. The only difference is I will be reviewing three cents, but you guys still only vote for two cents. <laughs> if you vote for more, I won't read the other one. So let's see what we're gonna get. Scent number one is Tangerine Creamsicle. Scent number two, Oh Snapdragon. Scent number three, Aloe Vera and Ivy. Scent number four, Sun Soaked Petals. Scent number five, Vanilla Waves. And scent number six, Make a Splash. So again, just to remind you, we have Tangerine Creamsicle, Oh Snapdragon, Aloe Vera and Ivy, Sun Soaked Petals, Vanilla Waves, and Make a Splash. This is going to be a very competitive week with those scents. <laughs> Thanks for spending the last few minutes with me. I hope you guys have a great day in your neck of the woods. Please take care. Don't forget to vote, and I will see you guys in the next video.